Yo, what is up guys? Today we're going to be opening up 50 packs of Ultra Prism. It's not the newest expansion, it is the second to last expansion here. Uh, we're right now in the current uh, Forbidden Light expansion. So this is the one prior to that, but I'm going to go back here and open up 50 packs here, see what we can get out of this set that I haven't either traded for already or managed to pull at this point. So first pack here, let's see if we've got anything good from this first one. Looks like it could be kind of spicy here. We get the hollow uh, McGurna, is that hollow? Hard to tell. No, not a hollow, just regular rare McGurna. And then we get the Solgaleo Prism Star. Cool card there. Definitely a, a very useful card in the meta currently. Second pack, we get the Reverse Hollow Chubby Shaman. And then we get the Hollow Rare Torterra. Third pack here. Hoping to get uh, like a Glaceon GX would be nice. The Skinny Shaman now. So we've had Chubby Shaman and Skinny Shaman so far. Pretty cool. Reverse Hollow Weasel. And the Araquanid regular rare. Yo guys, let's get some GXs. GXs. Verse Hollow Shaman. And Licky Licky. Which is not a GX. Verse Hollow Heat Ran. And Skinny Shaman again. I'd like to get uh, like a full art Dusk main would be really nice. Reverse Hollow Manaphy, which was new. And Rampardos, Hollow Rare. Good card. Fossils are kind of hard to work, but he's a good card if you can get that to work. Reverse Hollow Luxray, or Luxio, sorry. And Rose Raid. Slow start here. First Hollow Gabite. Skinny Shaman. Man. We always have a recurring theme that we seem to get at least just one or two cards a lot of when I do a pack opening. First Hollow Yen Mega. And regular rare Electivire. Reverse Hollow Escape Board. And the same card again, the Electivire. Reverse Hollow Roselia. And then the Alolan Executor. Which was the Dragon type. Reverse Hollow Perugly. And the Hollow Rare Magnazone, which is new for me. I had that marked on my wanted, so we can take that off now. Sorry about the uh, notification sound there in the background. Reverse Hollow Toxic Oak. And a Bomb of Snow. Wow, this is really rough at this point with no GX. We've had the one Prism Star so far. Reverse Hollow Dupiter. And the Hollow Rare Magmortar. Here we go. Is this going to be a good one? Let's see. Hollow Rare Cresselia. And another Solgaleo Prism Star. That's interesting. He seems to keep showing up. Let's hope that that doesn't keep happening. First Hollow Shaman. Rampardos again. Wow. Not very good at this uh, this point in the video. This is rough, guys. It's really rough. Get at least one GX at this point. We get one GX. 
Weavile. Good card, good card. Icy Wind does 10 damage, puts them to sleep. And for one Dark Energy, it does 50 damage for each of your Pokemon that has an ability. A really good card because with the Ultra Beast and Forbidden Light, um, as well as a lot of other cards in the current format, like Zorark and things of that nature, the Malamars that just showed up from Forbidden Light, uh, he can he can have a serious damage output uh, with the choice span on him. Uh, put some serious numbers up, and he's the one prize trader. So, really good card. Glad that I pulled him. I needed to uh, get a full place out of him to build a cool deck to make some interesting videos to see what we can kind of uh, rip up in the format right now with all these abilities. Empoleon. Reverse Hollow Carnivine. And Hollow Rare Infernape. almost at the uh, halfway point and not a single GX. Reverse Hollow, Electric Rotom, and the Type Null. Reverse Hollow Bronzor, and here we go. First GX out of this opening is the Palkia GX Full Art. Not a good GX, but we got one at this point, so there's still some hope here that this video is going to turn out all right. Hollow Rare uh, Chubby Shame in there. Not sure what took that pack so long to load. Reverse Hollow Crow Gunk. And another Hollow Rare Cresselia. Reverse Hollow Looker Whistle. And there we go. A card that I was I was hoping for to pull out of this opening, the Dusk Main Necrozma GX. As the Meteor Tempest does 220 basically deletes almost any Pokemon in the format. Discard three energy from this Pokemon, can easily get them powered back up with the Hollow Rare Magnezone that we pulled, and the Sun's Eclipse does 250. You can keep the three energy, but you can only use this when you're behind in prize cards. I don't know if PTCGO is just running a little slow tonight on their servers or something. Another Reverse Hollow Bronzor and another Obama Snow. Here we go on this pack. We've got the Reverse Hollow Shinotic. And awesome, a Glaceon GX. Very, very uh, good card with that Freezing Gaze shutting off all EX and GX abilities in play. Um, as well as any ones that are in their hands, such as Tapu Lele, and as well as ones in the discard pile as well. So uh, maybe like a Dark Raid GX wouldn't be able to use his Restoration ability. So very powerful card there. Very good uh, pull so far. Seems like we're getting some more hits here towards the end. Things are looking up a little bit better. That first half was, was really rough. Nothing good off of that. And a Lunala Prism Star. Not a bad card. Uh, very useful in the Psychic decks now that uh, Psychic Pokemon are getting a lot of support with the Forbidden Light expansion. But it is one of those cards that does have to go to the Lost Zone after it is uh, knocked out and it can only be allowed in uh, a deck one time, one copy allowed. I think I've had a, uh, a crash with Spotify there, so 
I'll have to edit this so we get some music in the background continuing to go. And we've got a reverse hollow with Powdon. And Shaman, regular rare. Another reverse hollow with Powdon. And Drapion. First Hollow Grodel and regular rare type null. After this, we've got 20 packs to go, guys. 20 packs to go. Reverse Hollow Drapion and Pulley on regular rare. Reverse Hollow Gardenia and the Palkia GX regular art. Reverse Hollow Mo Rotom, or Rotom, I should say, sorry, and Fan Rotom. And PTCGO actually patched them, so they're actually working correctly, because for a while people weren't able to play their Rotom decks. I don't know if they're still a viable thing, but... Um, so people like to have fun when they play, and they'll play the Rotom decks. Another Lunala Prism Star, so I've got three of those now. We've got the Reverse Hollow Shinx. And Obama Snow again. Thanks, uh, thanks, Obama Snow. It's a good, good or slash terrible uh, pun for you there. The Hollow Rare Lucario. He was actually uh, one of the pre-release Hollows that you could get. And then we've got the Reverse Hollow Fan Rotom. And then the regular rare Mo Rotom. Coming in on a close here. Almost down to the last 10. My first Reverse Hollow Cynthia. Nice. And Drapion. Reverse Hollow Cosmog. And regular wear Fairy Tapu Lele. Reverse Hollow Skorupi. And Salazzle. I actually like this card for the Panic Poison. The opponent is now Burn, Confuse, and Poison. He works well with the Infernape or Viper combination. And Hunter's Nails is a really strong attack. If they are affected by any type of special condition, it does 60 more damage. So it can do 120, 130 with the choice band. Or I'm sorry, 150 with the choice band. And then with with uh, Poison between turns stacking up, it can do some pretty good numbers for a one prize card attacker. I feel that it's uh, very underrated at this point. Reverse Hollow Eevee and the Alolan Sand Slash with that spike armor that costs zero energy. We've got the Reverse Hollow Fairy Tapu Lele and the Frost Rotom. We've got a Reverse Hollow Empoleon, and then another Hollow Rare Magnazone. Reverse Hollow Shinx, and the Frost Rotom again. Palkia is obviously the worst GX in this set, in my opinion. So it's a little upsetting that we've pulled him 
twice. The Reverse Hollow Alolan Sandshrew. And the Type Null Regular Rare. Maybe we can get another hit here in these last uh, six packs that we have. Reverse Hollow or Raquinid. And the Mo Rotom. The Reverse Hollow Gibble. And another Hollow Rare Lucario. Reverse Hollow Chimchar. Alolan Sand Slash. Another hit, please. Please, PTCGO. Please. Oh, nice. That means this is going to be a secret rare. If we've. Uh, got a full art Feromosa GX here. I really like this card. Uh, mainly just for the artwork. It's not a bad one of in some grass decks. And then let's see what we have here. Oh, Super Boost. Okay, Prism Star. I, th I was thinking it was going to be a secret rare. Boy, was I wrong. Super Boost Energy. So we were able to get one hit. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. I was expecting a little bit more, though. Froster Otom. And last pack. Reverse Hollow Requined. And that's Salazzle. Alright guys, well thank you for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing some more pack openings. I'll also be doing some deck profiling soon. So uh, look out for that in the near future. Thanks for watching guys. Leave a like down below. Thank you.